This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a costing spreadsheet to ensure that the products or services you're providing or are planning to provide will make a profit. So at the top here I'm just putting an eBay item, comics or comic books, just merge them together and make it bold and underline. So I'm going to de demonstrate costing a comic book item. So this first column will put the cost of the item, that's how much we're purchasing it for before resale. Next I've got an eBay listing fee, another fee by eBay which is the eBay seller's fee, PayPal fee, and then a subtotal for these four costs. The next up I'm going to put a packaging column and a postage column and a sub subtotal there. Now obviously if you're not selling eBay items you can put other things in these columns as long as they have a direct relationship. The costs have a direct relationship with the product or service you're providing. Next column we'll put total cost and then the selling price, what we will be selling the item at. I've made them all bold, stand out a bit better. So the cost per item. You can put 40 pence in there. If you highlight the column, right click, format cells. We can go to accounting, like so. Two decimal places with a pound sign. Obviously, you can put a dollar sign there. eBay listing fee is 5 pence, it's a fixed price. Now, the eBay selling fee is a variable price, it's done on the percentage of the selling price. So, click on the selling price cell and click times. 0.05 if it's 5%. I'm unsure what the, the percentages are. Same with PayPal fee, it's percentage on the selling price. So once again, equals, click on the sell times, and I'll do 2% this time. It's probably a lot higher than that. So 0.02. The subtotal equals some open bracket, these four boxes, close bracket, return. So 45 pence to list and sell that item on eBay and I'm going to name this direct product costs make that bold and underline and next up we have our postage and packaging so first we're packaging we can have a set fee of six pence that's how much the box costs us the cardboard box and then the postage we they always weigh the same so one pound ten subtitle equals sum open bracket click on the two cells close bracket return then the total cost is obviously the two subtotals added together so equals click on them add them together and we can put a border on here so right click format cells border there we go if I'm going too quick just pause the video and follow along that way so now we can put a selling price in obviously the eBay sellers fee and PayPal fee will not show until there's a selling price so equals let's say £1.50 we're planning to sell the item at and then profit and loss, this last column I've added in. So obviously the selling price minus all the fees. You'll see the eBay and PayPal fees have appeared now. We've put a selling price in. Click equals, click on the selling price minus the total cost. So you'll see that's minus, there's a minus there, minus 22 pence a loss per item. So it gives you a quick overview of the profit or loss you're making per item. So we know we need to increase the selling price, put it 175, 
it's still in loss because obviously these fees go up as the selling price goes up. If this is an auction, let's put two pound. If this is an auction, I'd put the starting price as the selling price. You know, the minimum amount you're going to get for this item. So we put that at two pound now. We make twenty five pence profit. So we can make that green. If you have any questions about this, just please get in contact with me. Go to our website www.bpfs. That's Bravo Papa Foxtrot Sierra hyphen online dot com. So I've copied those cells down because <clears throat> you might have a number of items you want to analyze the costs of. The fixed fees you will have to retype in because they may go up a penny or up a, <clears throat> a certain amount that the formulas we put in will all be carried down. This time the cost per item, let's do a bigger item. So we pay £4.50. The listing fee is 0.25. Let's just copy that formula down. Like so. They're blank because we need to put a selling price in. Subtotal is 475, which is correct so far. The packaging, say the packaging costs at 75p. The postage, 390. You'll see once you've got these formulas in place, it makes it a lot quicker to fill in. Once you've created one line, you can create many. So we sell at 15, we make £4.55 profit. Let's put some titles in. You can call this post and packaging or PMP costs. And there we have it. You could put a, a grand total down here for each item. To put a border in, click equal sum, open bracket. Choose all the profit and loss sales, close bracket, enter. We can add a, another column in if you wanted to do a number of items. Just merge that and bring it across. So if you wanted to do a number of items, you could put in a first column here, like a description or item name. So item. Item A, item B. And there we have it. Thank you for watching. If you want any help with costings, just get in contact, go to our website. Thank you so much for watching.